Ever since man stood up and surveyed the world about him, he has been wanting to go places. we've come a long way since man first felt the need of transportation. And with each step of progress came new working methods, new materials, new problems. With the age of air travel, man widened his world. And today, in the beginning of the space age, horizons are pushed even further away. To help make these things possible, chemistry has developed many new materials for use in all phases of everyday life and industry. Materials man lives with and works with. Just as in our field of air transportation, we are working with Skydrawl fluids. The air age brought its problems. Technological know-how soon cleared up most of the early trouble spots. But fire, man's oldest friend and deadliest enemy, has always been the number one problem. Hydraulic fluid fires were high on the hazards list as late as the mid-40s. Headlines underlined the need already recognized and defined by commercial aviation to meet every safety problem head-on. One of the most challenging problems was the development of a hydraulic fluid that served like oil, but resisted burning and combustion. The challenge was faced and accepted by two companies, Douglas Aircraft and Monsanto Company, who combined technical aircraft experience with chemical knowledge and talent in a search which found the answer in 1948. They called it Skydrawl. And with Skydrawl, a new era in hydraulics was born. Here was the hydraulic fluid that performed like premium oil, yet resisted flash and flame so well that today Skydrawl has completely protected Skydrawl equipped aircraft from hydraulic fluid fires for more than 50 million flight hours. Skydrawl's special properties gave commercial aviation the desired premium oil performance plus the all-important added margin of safety. Today, Skydrawl fluids are used around the world in the vast majority of commercial jet transports and are finding their way into executive and business aircraft. In this air age, Skydrawl plays an increasingly important role in the development of vertical and short takeoff and landing aircraft. Skydrawl is available at major distribution points throughout the world. Premium hydraulic performance, safety, reliability, and availability. Skydrawl offers them all.
Skydrawl 7000 comes in white drums printed in green, the color of the fluid. Skydrawl 7000 is used in the hydraulic systems and pressurization systems of today's propeller-driven commercial aircraft. The purple containers hold the Skydrawl 500 series, which are purple-colored fluids. Although similar to the 7000, the 500 series was especially developed to operate efficiently at the lower temperatures encountered by jet aircraft flying at high altitudes. Skydrawl is a man-made chemical fluid, and its important special properties make it a little different to handle than straight petroleum hydraulic fluids. Just as with many new and special materials encountered nowadays in all branches of industry, and even in a housewife's kitchen, certain procedures must be observed in handling Skydrawl to assure optimum performance and reliability in the aircraft system. The finest, safest hydraulic fluid performance is dependent on the know-how of and careful handling by the men who are working with it. The delicate chemical balance that assures perfect performance of any laboratory product can be destroyed by the presence of foreign matter. Skydrawl is delivered clean and pure. That's the responsibility of Monsanto. From then on, the responsibility is in the hands of the user. And because fluid cleanliness means onboard reliability, you'll want to make sure Skydrawl stays that way as you handle and store it. The user begins by placing the drum in a clean storage room immediately after delivery. Mechanics make sure that the bung holes on the drums are tightly sealed and that the faucet drains are properly seated. This is a scene that should never happen for two reasons. First, Mixing any other fluid with Skydrawl can alter temperature, viscosity, and fire resistance characteristics, and would probably affect the lives of seals and packings. Second, Skydrawl should be transferred only by a pump with filter to avoid contamination. The destructive effect of dirty fluid on this very expensive and important close tolerance hydraulic valve is plain to be seen. It's been taken apart to show the scoring on the guide. Monsanto takes extra care in processing, packaging, and handling Skydrawl so that every gallon delivered falls well within the minimum established specifications of the aviation industry. But all this care is wasted if the fluid is handled carelessly. You can do much with just a little effort to help ensure Skydrawl purity right into the hydraulic system of the plane. Properly handled, used, and maintained, Skydrawl has an almost permanent service life. However, some of the physical properties may change after extended usage. So the fluid's properties should be regularly checked to make sure they continue to meet minimum operating specifications established by the airframe manufacturer. Because the length of time between fluid changes or renovations will vary depending upon the type of aircraft in service. Fluid sampling is suggested every 1,000 hours or at any time a hydraulic component fails prematurely. care should be taken in collecting and handling Skydrawl from a system because it may often be cleaned and reused. For systems using Skydrawl hydraulic fluids, there are now standard seals, backup rings, packings, and hoses supplied by major equipment manufacturers for all hydraulic components, such as engine-driven hydraulic pumps, auxiliary hydraulic pumps, 
hydraulic actuators, and hydraulic selector valves. Everyone knows how some materials react to certain liquids. For instance, a metal tackle box works fine for fresh water fishing, but out deep sea fishing, well, that's something else. Monsanto's research laboratory has evaluated hundreds of materials for their reactions to sky draw. Based upon the results of these tests and Monsanto's recommendations, today you'll find most equipment and components identified with mylar or metal tags when they're used with sky draw. Seals, packings, and hose assemblies may be color-coded or numbered for identification with SkyDraw systems. If mineral oil seals are used in a SkyDraw hydraulic fluid system, they soften and swell if left in SkyDraw long enough. The difference is apparent in these seals used by mistake. And the SkyDraw seals, which were used correctly. When SkyDraw seals are used, remember to apply only a SkyDraw compatible lubricant in the recommended amount. Of course, most seals have backup rings. Airframe manufacturers have determined from literally millions of flight hours experience with SkyDraw systems, which materials deliver the best service in their aircraft. Recommendations for specific backup rings to use with SkyDraw are available from airframe manufacturers. Just as it's important to use the proper backup ring, it's equally important to use cushions made of SkyDraw resistant materials for cushion clamps whenever they're specified. When storing components with SkyDraw, metal plugs are recommended rather than plastic ones, which could give way. Handling SkyDraw begins with the trip from your storage area. It's most important that the SkyDraw service cart be equipped and identified for the correct SkyDraw fluid. A line filter keeps hydraulic systems clean, but you can help by making sure no foreign material gets in when you add SkyDraw to the hydraulic system or pressurization system. You should follow the recommendations of the airframe manufacturer. It's difficult not to spill some fluid when working in tight quarters. If there's spillage on tires, wiping it off immediately prevents damage. When SkyDraw spills on painted surfaces, clean it off right away with a dry cloth. SkyDraw will affect some of the older types of paints if allowed to stand. But a spill won't harm any aircraft paint if it's wiped up before the paint has a chance to soften. This is good practice, even with the newer SkyDraw resistant paints. In any case, SkyDraw will not corrode the metal beneath. Better still, follow the aircraft manufacturer's recommendations for paints to use with SkyDraw serviced aircraft, and you won't have to worry about even the accidental spills. But SkyDraw spilled on the floor will be dangerously slick. You can get a bad fall unless someone wipes it up pretty soon. Nothing cleans up a big puddle better than floor dry compound with soap and water to finish the job. SkyDraw drips on tools and gets on the handles from the hands. Though most tool handles are resistant to SkyDraw, some plastic handles are not. This one should have been white clean instead of left to soak in SkyDraw. But then wiping any fluid from tools is a good safety practice. Since plexiglass is plastic, SkyDraw fluids can craze it under certain conditions. So be sure to wipe off SkyDraw that spills or spatters on plexiglass. 
Some of the older plastic wire coatings will soften and lose abrasion resistance if they are left in sky draw. But nylon jacketing is completely resistant and nearly all the aircraft wiring today is nylon jacketed. Teflon and mylar coating are also recommended for use with SkyDraw. It all boils down to one basic rule. Just a little extra measure of care to prevent spillage and a quick cleanup if it happens, which is a good rule for working with any fluid. Our modern age has produced many unique synthetic fluids. And with SkyDraw, the men who understand it and know how to work with it have a big advantage. Of course, there's a personal side to handling any of the new fluids. Any person coming in contact with a chemical compound wants to know any precautions he should observe. For instance, you want to know, what will SkyDraw do to my clothes? Not a thing. If you wear the usual work clothes made of cotton, wool, nylon, acrylan acrylic, or most synthetic fibers. But rayon acetate is different. A dab of SkyDraw will just about do it to a rayon acetate shirt. Walking through a SkyDraw spill on the floor is not only unwise for safety's sake, but for clothing's sake, since SkyDraw tenderizes crepe soles. Men who have plastic watch crystals or plastic rimmed glasses should take care not to handle them with greasy hands or overexpose them to SkyDraw. But with normal care, they're perfectly all right for working with SkyDraw fluids. SkyDraw will not damage contact lenses under normal circumstances. While contact lenses left soaking in a puddle of SkyDraw will be affected after some exposure, contacts worn on the job will not be harmed, even in a direct spray, if they are thoroughly cleaned right away. What happens to your skin in contact with SkyDraw? Well, a highly sensitive skin might dry out slightly or after prolonged exposure, dry to the point of developing a rash. Some men wear gloves to protect their hands while working with SkyDraw. Using a good hand cream helps prevent excessive drying of sensitive skins. SkyDraw on the hands is no problem for most men. But in the eyes, it really stings. Wiping won't help. But immediately washing the eye out with water will. The best way is to hold the eyelids apart so plenty of water reaches the eye. If the sting persists, your medical personnel will get rid of it for you with medicated eye wash. But how about SkyDraw fumes? Are they dangerous? No more dangerous than SkyDraw on the hands or in the eyes. If SkyDraw spills on metal hot enough to create fumes, they might be annoying, but not dangerous. A good draft soon gets rid of them. Of course, there's always that one chance in a thousand that a hydraulic pressure line might develop a leak with a mist resulting. SkyDraw mists often occur when you're bleeding the brakes. If this happens, Cut the pressure immediately. The mist may be a bit irritating, but that will pass with some fresh air. Men who smoke should wash their hands before handling a cigarette. SkyDraw on the paper becomes a very irritating fume in the smoke. Let's check back over the procedures and precautions we've been talking about. First, the careful maintenance man guards against contamination all along the line. He knows how costly it can be to mix any other fluids with SkyDraw. He uses the parts and equipment designed for SkyDraw systems, as well as hose assemblies and SkyDraw seals, 
easily identified by color on the seals or number codes on the individual package. He uses the right seal because he knows that a Skydrol seal won't work with mineral oil any more than a mineral oil seal will work with Skydrol. The right combination is Skydrol hydraulic fluid seals in a Skydrol fluid system. With Skydrol seals, he uses backup rings recommended by the aircraft manufacturer. He uses metal plugs or plugs recommended for storage of components. He cleans up spills on the floor or on the ramp with floor dry and if necessary follows it with soap and water. He wipes Skydrol off tools. Some mechanics like to use alcohol for cleaning their tools. He cleans fluid from tires, plastic coated wires, plexiglass, and painted surfaces. He's careful about his clothing, particularly if he wears rayon acetate or crepe soled shoes. If his skin is sensitive, he wears rubber gloves or uses hand cream. He's careful about cleaning up personal items if they come in contact with Skydrol. And about not handling cigarettes with greasy fingers. He rinses his eyes if he accidentally gets Skydrol in them. And he knows that fresh air will take care of fumes or mist and that they won't harm him. The Skydrol service manual covers all the basic rules for working with Skydrol, and it answers most of the questions that come up. If a situation does arise that isn't covered by the manual, Monsanto's specialists are always on call to help you with special problems. A phone call will put you in direct contact with a Skydrol specialist. And if he can't give you an answer right away, he can turn to Monsanto's technical service laboratory designed and organized to get going on your problem right away. The Skydrol service manual will provide a quick and ready reference on how to work with the fluid. Aircraft manufacturer's manual should be consulted for the specific aircraft you are working on. Their recommendations should be followed. We know, and you know, the important part you play in assuring the safety of these planes in their daily service to the traveling and shipping public. And we hope the questions you might have about Skydrawl have been answered. We've exaggerated some of the troublesome situations. But in your day-to-day -day work, you'll find Skydrawl as easy to work with as many other materials you use. Even though Skydrawl may be new to you, we believe you'll find it easy to work with. For almost two decades, living with Skydrol has been no problem for thousands of men like you in our big industry. Major airlines the world over have taken advantage of the safety, reliability, economy, and service that go with Skydrol fluids. They've learned how to use Skydrol, how to work with Skydrol. They know that a little extra care and common sense in handling this special fluid are well worth the dividends it pays. These Skydrawl fluids are the forerunners of synthetic